the Capex bevel scale. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test your bevel scale for accuracy, and if it's off, how to calibrate it. This is a single scale, and when you move it, you move everything equally. You get the scale that stops all in one, so take your time, do it right, and one and done. The two cut method, I'm going to take this board and I'm going to cut it up against the fence. The saw is calibrated, so it's not going to help us because it's just going to be a nice parallel cut. So I have dialed in one degree in the scale to the right. When I flip it around and cut it on the other side, we're going to have two degrees off. That's huge. We'll really be able to see it. Most of the time, if it's off at all, it's going to be a very, very tiny amount. And I got a trick to help you figure out which way it's off. I can see this one degree and it's to the right, but most of the time you won't be able to really pick it up with your eyes and measuring it isn't going to tell you either unless you know the formula. I'm going to flip it over. Reference edge goes from there to there. It stays on the box. And this one I'm going to do a bit wider because this is the one we're going to look at and see if we have an error and measure. When you're doing little pieces, keep the saw down, hold the, hold the head down, let the blade come to a stop before you lift it up because otherwise with these little pieces, the teeth will catch on the way up and it'll kick it around. 15 and a half millimeters at the top, 21 millimeters strong at the bottom. So we're wide at the bottom. Is it off to the right or to the left? If it's just a small amount, you can't see it. You're not, you're not going to have the scale telling you, oh, it's one degree off to the right. I did a couple of test cuts earlier and I came up with a little formula. Right to left, the top is wide. So that means the blade is off to the left. Right to left, the top is narrow, which means it's off to the right. When I started, I was on the right and then I rotated to the left. Right to left, the top is wide. If it's off to the left, top is narrow if it's off to the right. If I swung it from the left to the right, then those are opposite. Figure out the way you want to do it and always do it the same way. And then you'll memorize this and you'll know, hey, I, I don't even need to think about the uh, right to left. I just go from this side to this side. And I know that if the top is wide, then my error is to the left and the top is narrow, my error is to the right. With the Capex, the first thing to do is remove the cord storage, and that is with three T15 screws. Take the onboard hex key, and right in the bottom here of where the scale is, there are two hex head bolts. Turn on the laser, give myself a line, and what I'm doing is I'm putting one, of there's two lines, I'm putting one of them on that pencil line, I want to push the head back that way, just a very small amount. And you can see I've got just enough tension on that bolt that it's kind of holding. I think I want to go just a little bit more. Now that's looking pretty good on the laser, so I'm gonna snug down just that one. So we went right to left, and in this case, the top is wide. Calibrated. Now I'm going to just tighten it up before I bump it around. I took three times, three different cuts to get it calibrated. I think the critical thing here is getting that bolt, one of them all the way loose, and the other one just snug enough that it kind of holds. And that, that was what I found when I did it two or three other times to get ready for this. Capex could improve this if they put us in a screw just on one side that we could dial it in so it's touching and then loosen those bolts and then either tighten it in or loosen it up like a real fine machine screw. And then once it's tightened back down, then back the bolt out so it's not interfering with movement. As I said with the miter scale, if you check it with your two cut method or your four cut method and you're very, very close, then don't adjust it. Chasing absolute perfection is a fool's errand. You're not going to get it. You're probably going to knock it off more than it is, and then you're going to have to work at it to get it back in. Again, we're working with wood. We're not building airplanes. We're not machinists working to five thousandths of an inch. If you like this video, if you got anything out of it, and if you'd like to see me 
make more of these videos on tool maintenance and tool tips, then give me a thumbs up. Right now, while we're talking, just click on that. It costs you nothing and it really helps the channel. If you'd like to get a detailed set of plans to build a smart station, a smart bench, any of the accessories that work with the system, or a smart wood shop itself, there's a link in the description of this video down below. Mahalo.